Blessed Monday to us. And happy fiesta. Of this fairly new celebration, memorial or feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Mother of the Church is a new, a new thing introduced into the liturgical books. That's why there is no particular proper reading because it is given for the, you know, for the celebrant to really choose whatever it fits well. However, the title of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, is always very familiar to us through the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in fact, whenever we read the Gospels, whenever we read the Bible, whenever we read the New Testament, the Blessed Virgin Mary always occupies that particular privilege and special title. Well, there is a very interesting thing that one has to discover or to take a look into because at the beginning of the civil year, or the civil calendar year, that is New Year's Day, we celebrate the motherhood of Mary. And right after the Easter season, as we already embark to continue the ordinary time of the year, and that is today, the, Saturday, the Monday after Pentecost Sunday, it's ordinary time already, we have this great uh, uh, celebration, memorial of Mary, the mother of the church. Now this particular gospel reading I chose, taken from the wedding at Cana incident, the miracle there from the Gospel of St. John, is precisely a very beautiful perspective. Because it is here that the Blessed Virgin Mary is presented with a strong conviction telling the servers, do whatever he tells you. And this reflects a very important dimension and experience of her who has first who had first given her yes, her fiat to the Lord. When she said during the annunciation, be it done unto me according to your word, we are now listening to a very important lady, our mother, the mother of the Lord, the mother of God telling us to continuously struggle, if ever the word can be fitted into this context, to do the will of the Father, to do the will of the Lord. And this is what motherhood is all about in terms of the Blessed Virgin Mary's exemplary, uh, ex exemplary role. That's why she is called the mother of the church. And since we are also children of God or the body of Christ, and since she is the mother of Christ, then she is rightfully called and acknowledged as our mother. And so there is no difficulty after all adjusting to this uh, interesting introductions or new things in the liturgy because right from the very beginning, we are, it's already part of the normal flow of events and celebrations that we are actually already used to. And so in this particular moment, this particular time, in this particular day, as we begin in the ordinary time of the year, resume the ordinary time of the year, let us always remember that there is always a person, a mother, who guides us and who protects us with her blue mantle as we continue our journey of faith with her on our side, leading us to the bosom of the Father where we belong. In the glory of Christ, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, who constantly guides us every day of our lives. Amen.